You ever get that feeling sometimes where life is happening in fast motion? The days, weeks, and months just kind of blend together. I'm actually going through a bit of that right now. I need to slow things down. I've got to get away. But before that can happen, I have to get through today. There really is nothing like a cold shower and hot coffee to get you moving. Speaking of morning, it is a beautiful one. It's the Friday leading into a long weekend here in Ontario. The holiday lands on the first Monday of August. Summer in Toronto is also prime tourist season, so on top of the usual morning rush hour, you've got a ton of tourists making for an exciting walk to work. Speaking of work, this weekend I am getting out of the city. I am taking my family on a six hour road trip to Manitoulin Island, a little current more specifically, which is where my parents have their boat dock for the summer. So got a few obstacles to overcome before the weekend begins. A is finishing my work day. B is getting out of this city on a long weekend. And C, driving the six hours to where I need to go. What I always tell myself when I've got a lot going on is that any second now, I'm gonna be the on a boat. It's gonna be glorious. This is Slow Motion, a 36-foot recreational trawler. What's a trawler? I actually have no idea off the top of my head, but I think it's got something to do with this, the pill house, and maybe the fact that it doesn't go very fast. But what it does lack in speed, it makes up for in comfort. Did you have a good sleep last night? Uh-huh. Where'd you sleep? I slept in the bunk bed. We're gonna go out in the water, we're gonna spend a day on the water today. And we're also going to be going swimming in the water. All right. You having fun, though? All right. Hey, Charlie? Um... Today is Saturday, and we are going to McTavish, which is about two and a half hour cruise somewhere that way. <laughs> uh, my daughter and my sister are making fun of me. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be a the journey on the boat, which we are gonna stay there overnight and do some fun stuff. So that will be that. Let's go. Yeah, that's a cruise ship. You know what happened one year? What? When they were bringing the anchor up, okay. somebody wasn't paying attention, and it hit the top, and then the anchor, which is like $45,000, went right to the bottom of the channel. Oh. They were like pirates, all these different like companies are trying to reach it. Oh, 
once we get ourselves out of the marina area, we can open her up. It's pretty obvious we're not the fastest boat out here, but we're not the slowest either. Pulling up to where we're gonna anchor out. It's been a super, super calm trip. It's perfect day, it's a perfect day. Perfect day for boating. I don't see keys. Yeah, I don't see them either. Are we where we're supposed to be? Yep. Alright, so this is McTavish. There are too many boats there. My uncle's at Matheson Bay, so that's where we're gonna go. How far is it? Ten more minutes and we'll be there. The, the whole point to coming out to these places is that you kind of have all these islands, all these little beats, uh, and you have privacy. So we don't have that here. We're gonna find a place that does. Alright, they're back up. Once you drop anchor and get the shoreline hooked up, the real fun can begin. I really can't express how unbelievable it is to see the North Channel this calm. There is just so much open space to explore, and there is literally nobody else around. We have an entire island to ourselves. And we took full advantage of it. The problem is where we're anchored out, we don't get a clear view of the sunset. It's not a big problem though. And we have a plan for it. It involves a giant rock in the middle of the channel. Yeah. <laughs> this trip is not extravagant. It's not overly exciting by many standards. But sometimes the simplicity of it is what makes it special. And I have come to realize that in hindsight, it's moments like these that actually have the most impact. Tonight we're gonna spend the night anchored out in Matheson Bay. Now 24 hours away from it all, and I feel like I've achieved what I set out to do. This little getaway has been exactly what I needed. Which is perfect, because on Tuesday, it starts all over again.